friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on July 27th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun. We do have some active sunspot regions flaring. Some M-class solar flares. We've had four in the past two days. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, this is one of those M-class solar flares as well cresting into view. Some large sunspot regions. Looking at outgoing here, we did see a small CME blast outgoing position. No major CMEs have been thwarted our way. We are safe for now. But definitely going to be watching here at multi-spectrum. You'll be able to see a large plasma filament kind of in a hook echo shape. Watch for that to either destabilize or explode off the sun. And also there are some active regions there. Four M-class solar flares the last two days amongst the eight Earth-facing sunspots right now. This is a look at 193 angstroms. This is where we can see our heliosphere in action. Pretty active sun as of late. We've seen a lot of strong solar flares over the past couple months. Well above predicted sunspot values as well. And here's a look at our sunspots right now. As there are about eight of them and two more cresting into view. Some of them are about 10 times the size of Earth. You can see those big black circles. Having a look here at space weather conditions, we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts are expected. And for tomorrow, we've got a geomagnetic storm expected. Solar X-ray flux remains in a C range right now after popping off, well, shows here five M-class solar flares the past two days. Solar proton flux remains low. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP5 overnight on the 26th. Having a look at real-time solar wind right now, about 350 kilometers per second after being up over 550 yesterday. 432 kilometers per second right now. ISWA space prediction spiral showing the small CME blast taking off from outgoing positions. Incoming space weather for the 2nd and the 3rd of August. Other than that, no major events to report. Having a look here at LASCO 2 showing the sun's energy taking off. This is the last two days of imagery. No major coronal mass ejections to report. Just some amazing imagery brought to you by Soho. Bringing in a different look at our sun. Thank you all for watching today and pressing play here today. Much love. I hope you enjoy this information shared. Let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours. As yesterday, a sizable 6.4 earthquake rang out in Port Olroy, Vanuatu. Not really affecting humanity at all, but multiple aftershocks throughout the region. Also, some pretty deep earthquakes here in Fiji Islands. 575 kilometer depth, 4.4, as well as 5.5 earthquake there. Haifo, Tonga. And another deep earthquake here. The Fiji region, 5.1 at a 384 kilometer depth. So two very deep earthquakes after that large 6.4 yesterday. Activity continuing here through the Izu Islands, Japan, Marianas Trench, as well as Shikotan, Russia with a 5.3. Alaska, Sandpoint, Alaska reporting a 4.7 yesterday. And then North American Plate, Notable earthquakes here, 3.2 Crescent Valley, Nevada as well, Caliente, 
Nevada 3.2, but very quiet for North America right now, very quiet for Central America right now, and quiet for South America. So something's got to give here on the east side of the Ring of Fire. Heads up, this is an earthquake warning video. Not much happening on the other side of the world. This is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Quick glance now at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. If you do live in an earthquake prone zone, please just be ready. Stay aware, prepared, and much love for humanity as these earthquakes can be forecasted. Those couple deep earthquakes that we saw in Tonga region, Fiji Islands, expecting something larger to come here. It's just way too quiet. Central America, South America, and North America. East side, ring of fire. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well, most recent volcanoes getting updated. Notable here, look at all these landslides happening, mostly in Southeast Asia. We've got about two dozen reports of landslides Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected there. Getting to volcanoes now. Krakatoa in Indonesia awakened 12 hours ago. Sabancaya in Peru. Fuego, Guatemala. Nevada's Daruas, Colombia. Mayan in Papua New Guinea. Simaru, Indonesia. Abinas in Peru. So that's about 10 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 48 that are active and erupting around the world. Quick look here, satellite imagery, as we did have some pretty stormy conditions sweep across eastern Canada through Ontario. Very hot and warm, sticky conditions continue. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, we do have Tropical Storm 6, which is alive following Dock Surrey. And Dock Surrey is now heading up into China. Tropical Storm 6 will follow. So heads up, China. Overlooking the rest of the world, lots of moisture and cloud cover heading through Europe. Stormy conditions through Italy this past week. Other than that, nothing major to report. Now let's get to weather here, brought to you by Windy.com. Showing forecast models here for the next four to five days. Low pressure center moving through northern Ontario this week, as well as stormy conditions developing Friday into Saturday through central United States and sweeping eastward. Big low there affecting Atlantic Canada and parts of Quebec. Low pressure system building for Alberta up into the first and then sweeping through the Canadian prairies. And then long-range forecast, watching a strong low here develop from the Hudson Bay. And that will sweep eastward, bringing multiple rounds of extreme weather. So heads up, overlooking the Atlantic Ocean and South America. No major weather conditions to report, but we do have a tropical system here developing into the first week of August. Heading northward. In the long-range forecast, this could, could be affecting the Atlantic Canada. We'll have to see how long that high-pressure ridge over the Atlantic stalls. Overlooking Europe, you've got a low-pressure center right now. Off the coast of the United Kingdom and Ireland, watch for that to sweep in, bringing multiple rounds of moisture. Stormy conditions through central Russia. And then long-range forecast, watching a big low move into Europe yet again. Overlooking Africa, Southeast Asia, monsoon rain season is in full effect. Multiple rounds of moisture with huge lows. And then overlooking Australia, long-range forecast. It's going to be dry here for the next few days, spotty. Scattered showers throughout eastern Australia, but then long-range forecast. Watch for a big low south of you. Start bringing in rounds of moisture through southern parts. And then a big strong low affecting Tasmania. 
overlooking the northern Pacific, watching the typhoons from Southeast Asia. They will be sweeping north and then eastward up to Kamchatka. And lots of moisture for BC coast, mostly northern. High pressure ridge is pretty dominant on the east coast there. West coast. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.